here lately, I've been kind of obsessed with either reading or writing to, preferably both, uh, a non-volatile memory chip. In my case, I had an FRAM memory IC, but I haven't had much luck with it yet. Um, however, yesterday, I stumbled across a relic, uh, this chip that's underneath all these wires. You can kind of see the, the window in the middle. This is an old-school Intel EEPROM. Uh, it's erasable with ultraviolet light. It's an actual EEPROM, not an EEPROM. And it's made in 1982. And I was just... Uh, I was captivated by the idea of reading what might be on it to see if there is anything on it. And it also kind of fit in with what I've been trying to do anyway. So I built all of this support circuitry. Uh, you can set the address bits for what you want to read over here. Uh, the top LED row is for the address that's currently selected. Um, this LED on the right down here is chip enable. On the left is output enable. These 8 bits down here are the actual page and memory that you've selected. And I fired it up just a second ago after building all this and it seems to work. So I thought I would show you in case there's anyone out there who happens to be as much of a lost cause as I. Alright. So, right now, address 0 is selected in binary. And if we want to see what's in the chip at this address, we can do so. I looked it up. It's not even clock controlled, uh, which makes this a lot easier. I don't have to worry about triggering and whatnot. All you have to do is enable the chip, which takes it out of standby. And you can see that uh, it's still inhibited from outputting anything, because that output enable is still set there. But you drop that, and all of a sudden, boom. Apparently something had been written to this chip, and you know, a couple decades later, it's still in there. Uh, of course, I don't know exactly when it was programmed. This could have been bought in 82 and programmed in 92, for all I know. But anyway, it's old data. And it's certainly in there. You can play with it. Check uh, page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, six, seven, eight, and so on. It's uh, definitely been programmed with some information. I don't know what it is. I can just read it, <laughs> so I know what the, the binary is, but anyway, I find that kind of cool, and I thought I would share that in case anyone else thinks it's neat that you can actually do all this by hand like I do. Uh, so until next time, have a good one.